Stop telling people, just be yourself to find love. In this video, I'm going to give you a two-step formula for what really works to find love. And spoiler alert, it's not just be yourself. <laughs> the world is a cesspool of bad advice that sounds like good advice. Just be yourself is on that list together with um, love means never having to say you're sorry. A line that killed more relationships than bad breath. There is one area of our lives that is vital to our happiness and well-being and most of us are disastrous at it and I bet you know what it is. You guessed right, I'm talking about relationships. Hi, I'm Mona. I'm a trauma-informed love and relationship coach, former trainer in a cam girl studio, and I've been studying human nature since 2009. If you're passionate about the crazy world of seduction, relationships, and psychology, the best way to support my content is to subscribe to my channel, The Soul Society. At work, in the bedroom, at school, in the family, Wherever we are, the world is a network of people that we want to, or have to, relate with. And we fail miserably. We crave connection, but we lack soft skills, compassion, and empathy. We imagine we can never have them, but the truth is, no one ever taught us how. Other people don't know either, so we give each other awful advice that keeps us stuck, lonely, and poor. When Ryan arrived into my office for therapy, he was already so angry and fed up with bad advice that he was already considering calling it quits. They keep telling me to be myself, but who do they think I've been for so long? Ryan was a hopeless romantic and introverted soul who was dying for the love of a woman who gets him with all his quirks his reclusive nature and playing world of warcraft until four in the morning <laughs> that woman however was hard to find what was easy to find was the constant reminder of friends and family to just be himself and love will somehow magically find him they couldn't be more wrong for two reasons Love doesn't come knocking at your door to take you in her arms at 4 a.m., ignoring the pizza stains on your dirty t-shirt. That only happens in movies. Or if it happened to any of you, by all means, comment and let everybody know. We'd love to hear the story. Also, Ryan has been himself since day one and until the day he stepped into my practice. He wouldn't even know how to be somebody else. So why didn't it happen for him then? This is why just be yourself doesn't work for most people. Reason number one, people are not single because they're fake. They're not single because they're not being themselves. People aren't single because they've been putting on a mask. Ryan was not trying to impress any woman by pretending um, to be a rich guy or good in bed or all the other tricks that men imagine work on women. On the contrary, he was a smart guy who was pretty much an open book. No pickup artist lines, no sliding into their DMs with ridiculous um, compliments, no tooting his own horn, none of that. So why didn't they just want him for himself? There is one simple reason, and you're going to hate me for it, um, but it's real, and reality can be very cruel sometimes. Here's what it is. Not everything we are is good enough for others to want. Harsh, I know, but it's true. And in a minute, I'm going to explain why you shouldn't be offended by it. The second reason why just be yourself doesn't work to find love is that it implies that people shouldn't change. Now, there's nothing more comforting to people than hearing that they shouldn't change to get what they want. There's also nothing more wrong. Change is the fuel of success. None of us would have been 
where we are, none of us would have had the accomplishments that we have today without changing. Even our ability to walk happened because at some point in our life, we were willing and encouraged to change from our initial state of helpless baby to walking baby. Now, to get a clearer picture of this, um, imagine a person living on the street. He is dirty, he is smelly, he is missing a few teeth and about half his brain cells. His violent and screaming obscenities into the crowd. But he wants to go to bed with you. <laughs> Would you like that? Don't answer. I know you wouldn't. And I know it's an extreme example, but it gets the point across. If what you've been doing hasn't been working, you should definitely change. Why is changing ourselves such an insult? So, if just don't be yourself doesn't work, should you be somebody else? The short answer is no. The long answer is also no, but with a caveat. You do need to improve some aspects of yourself, however the core remains the same. What you need to do, however, is work smart, not hard. So how should you change? Okay, let's keep it single. I mean simple. <laughs> Start with the physical. Now, you don't need to be uh, Chris Hemsworth or Scarlett Johansson or I don't know insert celebrity crush of choice here and then let me know about it in the comments because I'm really curious if we have the same taste in um, hot celebrities <laughs> what you need to do is at least look like you care just think of Charlize Theron in Atomic Blonde versus Monster which one do you want to take home? And um, people who answered monster, <laughs> please stop trolling. <laughs> the point I'm making is same person, different results, right? So then why wouldn't you want to be atomic rather than monstrous? This is what you can do to become atomically hot in under six months. Take a shower. Change that ugly brown t-shirt with the holes in it. Spray some perfume on. Do something about that haggard hair. Drop the pizza. Grab the broccoli. Go to the gym. Ladies and even some gentlemen, put some makeup on. And repeat. Repeat until you look in the mirror and you want to take your own atomic ass home. Now, if you've got the physical covered, you continue with number two, the emotional part. Now, I did start with the physical because it's the first thing that people see. And if they can't get through that, you don't stand a chance for them to get to know the real you. But let me state for the record that the emotional part is far more important. Here are the basics. One confidence. Now there is nothing new about that, but how many of us are truly applying the principles of confidence? The most important one is, don't be needy, even if you are. I couldn't overstate this enough. Whatever you do, don't you dare be needy. That doesn't mean um, you're the next person who goes up on stage and takes the mic from the singer and starts, uh, I don't know, screaming out a few tunes. Not at all. You do not need to be extrovert of the year to be confident or to appear confident. You can be shy, you can be introverted, you can be vulnerable, you can be quiet. You can be Keanu Reeves if you want to. <laughs> Just don't be needy. Don't live your life at other people's feet, desperately grabbing for their attention and putting them on a pedestal. Keep your shoulders and standards high. Trust that you have value. And even if they do reject you, you're going to be okay. If they don't want you, walk away. Stop begging. Start trusting. The second on our emotional list is positivity. 
Now, you don't have to be insanely positive like a pink chihuahua on shit. Just keep it within healthy boundaries. If you're always talking crap about the world, yourself and everybody else, why would anyone want to be around you? Stop whining, stop complaining and just give it your best shot. Everybody knows the world is unfair. It's unfair to us all. It didn't choose you specifically. And if life dealt you some bad cards, people will admire you so much more if you overcome them. Society loves an underdog who overcomes all odds. Number three on the emotional list is humor. Now, don't go to comedian levels, just don't be dull. One of the best things you can do is to not be boring. And the easiest way to do that is to make people feel at ease. How? Do not, I repeat, do not turn into the group clown who can't have a real conversation with anyone and only speaks in sarcasm, limericks and jokes. That's a huge sign of insecurity. Just make a joke, people laugh, everybody feels good, they want to be around you. Add to that self-sufficient nature that is not easily faced by life's hardships and a clean smelling tight body and BAM! You've got them! You'll notice, people will stop telling you just be yourself and it will happen because before you know it, it's already happened and you're already being yourself just with a little caveat, the best version of you. I bet just like Ryan, myself and most people out there, you too have been in the situation where no matter how hard you tried, it just wasn't happening for you. I'd love to hear that story. Tell it to me in the comments. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to The Society. Have a great day.